the beach today. And I'm very excited about it because I'm going to see my friend Brianna Maxson. If you have been a longtime viewer of the vlog, then you will know her because she was in all my videos a couple years ago. But she and her husband recently, not that recently, but they moved to Tennessee. And she's in town, so we're going to hang out and we're going to go to Laguna, which is such a nice place to be. Although another nice place to be is also my bed. <laughs> Little updates on life and house and baby. Baby is baby is doing well. Baby moves a lot. Baby is uh, keeping Hannah awake at four or five in the morning. I don't know why. <laughs> baby makes it hard to get up. Also, we have some big, exciting news. You know, one of our big projects that we were gonna do for our house renovation is we are redoing our floors so if you saw our house renovation video these are original floors almost 100 years old and you would think why hannah why would you ever redo that it's because there's like gaps there's holes there's cracks we get lots of bugs crawling in here we have no subfloor and no insulation so we're going to put new hardwood flooring on top of that and hopefully it's going to help out with insulation it's going to be beautiful less marks i mean like fewer marks look at all these we have lots of this kind of stuff on the ground and we could spend the money and time to refurbish the flooring but it's incredibly invasive and expensive so we decided to do this route. But here's the funniest part <laughs> is I didn't know that wood flooring has to acclimate in your home for the climate um, because wood expands and, and does all these, like it, it grows and shrinks and all, does all these things so it needs to be in the house for uh, about two weeks before we can install it. So this is our life right now. Hopefully it'll be gone in the next few weeks while we do the flooring and we're gonna do the bedroom first, but I will show you because we're so excited. So this is what the flooring looks like. I think it's so pretty. It's oak. Yep, yep. butterscotch. Butterscotch oak, which sounds delicious. And it's a bit lighter, but what I really wanted was the same width. So they are the exact same width as our original flooring. And I presume that this flooring, <laughs> hi Prince, <laughs> this flooring was something around this color because I think the sun damage probably changed the color. And I'm excited, it'll lighten up the house. It's gonna look really nice. But anyway, I thought I would update you guys because a lot of you have been really interested in our home renovation and this is our life right now. I keep joking that I'm getting bigger, but our house is getting smaller, <laughs> so, and um, Eric's still working from home, so we have, I have to sort of like shuffle around, and it's great fun. And last update is Blue is still king, Prince is still Prince. Alright, I'm going to show you what I'm making for lunch and bringing to the beach, because I have to bring so much food with me. I got this. Um, by the way, this is vegan. I got this at the Zero Waste Shop in Costa Mesa. It's pretty great. It works really well. And yesterday, um, we made some recipes for my ebook. And this is uh, veggie patties. And I'm gonna grill these up for lunch. And I think I'm gonna bring one for Brie as well if she's hungry. <laughs> Before I show you all the food that I'm bringing, uh, excuse me. I have to show you my awesome kit that I got. My friend made this kit that she's selling and it's called Earth Aloha, that's the brand. And it's really, it's like the best lunchbox for adults because who eats something this big? Like no one, right? It's big enough for like a giant salad or a bunch of rice and lentils and it also comes with a divider. So you can divide your food if you have two different things or you have two different people. And it has these three nesting jars um, for different sauces to keep like salad dressings separate. And the best part is the silverware. This is like real silverware that's actually easy to eat with. You know those bamboo ones? I use them too, they're nice. But what I like about the real ones is you're just, I don't know, it's like you're eating a real lunch and you're not like, trying to poke your watermelon with your bamboo fork. And it comes with these mesh bags and a carrying bag as well and a cloth napkin. It's such a great way if you wanna go zero waste to bring lunch somewhere and know you don't have to use disposable things. I think in this COVID world, we've gotten a little bit 
lazy, I'm speaking for myself, <laughs> when it comes to disposable things, kind of making the excuse like, ah, what am I gonna do, it's COVID. And I'm really excited to get back on it and I love this little kit, so I'm gonna show you how I package it all up. <laughs> I'm running late. I'm actually gonna pop on this hummus adia. It's literally just a flour tortilla with hummus in it because <laughs> I need food for the road. We're gonna go like this in that dish and I'll just stack them in here and then da -da -da. bring hummus. I just like putting hummus on everything right now. Hmm. How do I want to do this? This is also more leftovers from my ebook creation day yesterday. This is roasted cauliflower with a tahini mint sauce and so delicious. I'm gonna put some spinach in here to put on our sandwiches. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. I'm gonna put mustard and ketchup in here because I don't know what Brie wants in her burger. And then I'll also put pickles. Wow, look how cute I am. And voila, I'm also bringing an apple and a protein bar. This is my car snack. <laughs> Trust me, it is so good. Hummus and tortilla just grilled up. Can't see a thing, it's so bright. This is Brianna. <laughs> we're like, hi. What's up? And we are gonna have lunch. Okay, so we have plant based burgers, and I brought the toppings because I didn't know what you wanted on it. So I didn't oh. want to top yours. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely a no pickle person. Okay. So. What about mustard? <laughs> I can do mustard. Okay. That's my favorite thing that I can do. But you don't have to. But it's, okay. it's not on then there. I won't. Okay, also, Cooking. these are so good. I'm gonna put them. Um, yeah, how do you want to do this? Them here. Napkin? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. It's like a little cutting board. Isn't it great? I needed it. I know. It's so pretty. On my ugly towel from Costco I've had since I was like 10. <laughs> We've been doing hummus quesadillas. That's my favorite. I had that on the way down. Good. It's the best. <laughs> Everything you do is cute, it's annoying. I just got back from the beach and now I'm gonna do some yoga, except not really, I'm just sort of stretching on my mat because I did not have time to do yoga this morning and I need to do it every single day. It's sort of hard with having heartburn. I don't want to go upside down, so I'm just gonna modify some stretches, um, just work out the piriformis sciatica stuff. 